even as far as the punching power goes. One of the reasons that Griffith is the fresher man here, as far as we were able to see from ringside, is the fact he simply hasn't been throwing that many punches. And he's been throwing almost none from long range, and so there's been very little of this missing. And Don pointed out during one of the earlier fights that any fighter will tell you that missing a punch takes just about as much out of you as getting hit. And Griffith simply hasn't been throwing that many. When he has been throwing them, he's been moving in and has been able to shorten up. Now, a lot of the punch have been catching Benvenuti on the body. Griffith also, up until that round, made almost no use out of his right hand. He's been strictly a left-handed fighter tonight, and this is no knock at him because obviously he's been scoring and scoring extremely well. This is Griffith's corner, and Gil Clancy is not yelling at him this time. He's, he's encouraging him. Don, it could be because there's only one more round to go. Anyway, the diet time is tough. It's round 15. Referee Tommy Walsh has them touch gloves, and they do so briefly. Fifteenth and final round. been decided that way, including that one by Emil Griffith. Here's Johnny Eddy. Both judges, Joe Eppie and Johnny Dan, they both have it the same way. Nine, five, one even for Griffith. Griffith is the winner. Griffith is the winner. Referee Tommy Walsh scores it seven rounds each and one even points, seven points each. The referee Tommy Walsh holds it a draw. The winner by majority vote and once again, the middleweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Well, there you have it, Emil Griffith.